He is the light of the world. Hallelujah. In him there's no darkness. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. To those who believe in his name. Not in them do you believe in the name of Jesus. Who were born not of the blood. Nor of the will of flesh. Nor of the will of man but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the father. Full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him. And cried out saying. This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of, and of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Christ Jesus. No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son who is the, in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. So Jesus Christ is declared by God Almighty. John speaks about Jesus Christ as being the true light of the world. And you see, in today's generation, in today's generation, many people claim to have the truth. But they do not have the truth. Why? Because they haven't got the true light. John tells us the true light is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And John tells us that when you receive Jesus, you have the right to become his son. Or to become a child of the Most High God. The Bible calls the children of God the sons of God. So anytime you see the sons of God in the Bible, in some areas, it talks about the children of God. Hallelujah. So the Bible talks about the Word became in flesh. So the Bible says Jesus Christ is the word of God. So the word of God became living. It became a human being. And that is why the Bible says the angel Gabriel came to Mary who was a virgin and said you shall conceive a child and shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible talks about here, and um, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city, Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. For he will be great and he will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will, be, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I do not know a man. And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. So the angel Gabriel said that Jesus Christ will be what? The Son of God. The angel Gabriel said that Jesus is the Son of God. 
Hallelujah. So if any religion comes to tell you that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God, then the Bible calls them a liar and a deceiver. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because the angel Gabriel is a messenger that spends time in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and said she shall conceive a child and shall call his name Jesus. Ah, but he shall be great. Glory be to God. He shall be great. Hallelujah. The angel Gabriel said that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome? That the angel Gabriel said that Jesus is the Son of God. Oh, do you know why I get excited? Because we know his identity. We know who Jesus Christ is. There's no confusion about it. Hallelujah. We know who Jesus Christ is. Glory be to God. He is the word that became flesh. He is God in the flesh, justified in the spirit. So he preached among the Gentiles who was believed only in the world, received up in glory. Oh, we know that Jesus Christ is the mediator between God and man. We know that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. We know that Jesus Christ is holy. We know that Jesus Christ has power. We know that Jesus Christ cannot lie. We know that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. We we know that Jesus Christ is the good shepherd that takes care of his flocks. Hallelujah. We know that Jesus Christ is love. We know that Jesus Christ is peace. We know that Jesus Christ is holy. We know that Jesus Christ is gentle. We know that Jesus Christ the miracle signs and wonders. We know that there's power in the name of Jesus. We know that Jesus Christ walked upon the water. He walked upon the sea and did not drown. Hallelujah. We know that Jesus Christ is alive hallelujah we know that Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last the beginning and the end we know that Jesus Christ is the King's man redeemer we know that Jesus Christ redeems his people we know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of the world that the world shall be freed from sin or that the world shall experience eternal life in him hallelujah we know that Jesus Jesus Christ rose the dead. Hallelujah. We know that Jesus Christ did good and great things that he used two fishes and five loaves of bread and multiplied it and he fed 5,000 people. We know that Jesus Christ is good. We know that Jesus Christ cares about you. We know that Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. We know that Jesus Christ, he was buried in the tomb and three days later he came back to life. We know that Jesus Christ is holy. We know that Jesus Christ has no sin. We know that Jesus Christ is the mediator between God and man. We know that Jesus Christ is our advocate. We know that Jesus Christ is righteous. We know that Jesus Christ cannot lie. We know that Jesus Christ has power. Oh, the Bible says there was a man at the Gadarene. He was so possessed with thousands of demons inside of him. But one day when Jesus Christ showed up, hey, that man that was possessed with thousands of demons inside of him. Now he was self-harming and doing all kinds of things, terrorizing the city. But when Jesus Christ showed up, he was set free. All the demons inside of him came out. There's power in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're being told, not in him. But there's power in the name of Jesus to set you free today. There's power in the name of Jesus to restore your life. Hallelujah. There's power in the name of Jesus to save your life today from every addiction, from every situation that you're going through. Oh, I came to tell somebody there's joy in the name of Jesus. So many people 
people today, they ain't got no joy. I came to tell you today, the name of Jesus can give you joy and peace and happiness for your soul today. I came to tell Nottingham, there's a God in heaven. There's a God in heaven that sent himself in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world, restoring the world, that the world shall experience the goodness of God. I came to tell Nottingham that God is not stupid. I came to tell Nottingham God is not crazy. I came to tell Nottingham Jesus is not stupid. I came to tell Nottingham God is not crazy. I came to tell Nottingham God is intelligent. God is intelligent. God cannot lie. Jesus cannot lie. Jesus is not stupid. I came to tell Nottingham wake up in the name of Jesus from every spiritual deadness. I came to tell Nottingham that Jesus wants to save you. He wants to take you out of hell. He wants to take you out of hell. Many people today, they're running to hell. But Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to set you free. Jesus Christ wants to give you hope and a great future. I came to tell Nottingham, taste and see that the Lord is good. Jesus is good. Jesus is great. Jesus Christ is knocking at the door of your heart. Will you let him in your heart today? Jesus wants to save you. Jesus Christ is reaching out to you, Nottingham. Oh, hold on to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus, Nottingham. I came to tell you today, we are on the last days. These are uh, troubled times. And in these troubled times, you gotta see what is happening around the world. It doesn't take a genius to understand that the Bible's coming alive in the 21st century. Hallelujah. The word of God is coming alive in the 21st century. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Bible's come alive in the 21st century. And that is why we come to Jesus Christ. The Bible says the truth shall set you free. The word of God is here to set you free today. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you today. I don't know if you know Jesus. I don't know if you've got a relationship with Jesus Christ. But today is a day of salvation. Today is a day to swallow your pride and turn to Jesus Christ. Today is a day to understand that God sent Jesus Christ to the world to die for the sins of the world. That the world shall be forgiven from sin because everybody sins. If you say you don't sin, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Everybody sins. Everybody sins. But today, Jesus Christ is calling that you can live a holy and righteous life. Jesus wants to save you. Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you. Hallelujah. This kind of relationship that we have with Jesus Christ is everlasting. Hallelujah. It is a supernatural relationship. Glory be to God. That you can express peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. That even in the crisis, you have peace for your soul. Oh, I came to tell Nottingham that Jesus Christ is the answer for your life. Hallelujah, he's the answer. So many people today have tried so many things. And where has that got in you? Oh, so many people have tried what? We have tried what? They've tried all the alcohol. They've tried the, they've tried the drugs. They've tried the, the food. They've tried the, uh, so many things. Going to spiritualists and psychics. They've tried so many things. But I came to tell you today, there's a name called Jesus Christ that can set you free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be free today.